Michael Lorenzen makes his third start as a Ranger, his first here at Globe Life Field. His numbers have been good so far. He's a pitch to contact kind of guy. He pitches to contact, he lets his defense go get the ball. Now, Lorenzen was an all star last year with the Tigers before he ended up in Philadelphia to finish his season. Seemed to fall off after he had that no hitter. And Will Benson leads it off for Cincinnati. Benson tips that into the glove of Jonah Heim, who was able to hang on for strike three. Just a fastball right down the middle. Will Benson's late. See what De La Cruz has done lately as a 1040 OPS overall on the year. Seven homers to go with 17 steals. That's in there. Strike three called. Lorenzen makes short work of De La Cruz and back to back strikeouts to start the day. Michael Lorenzen so far is feeling it, Wayne. He's just throwing fastballs right by these Reds guys early. Brown ball to third. Josh Smith handles that and retires Spencer Steer. It's a one two three top of the first for Michael Lorenzo. Bottom of the first in Arlington Texas Hunter Green is on the mound and if he had maybe something showing on his glove that they colored in you see a marker that Brian Onora is using I think he's coloring in something that's on the sleeve a white part of the sleeve <laughs> that Green had on. That's the MLB logo. If that's not approved, what the heck can you get approved? Simeon had the go-ahead home run in the game yesterday. Simeon hits a fly ball to right field. Jake Fraley waits for it and makes the catch. Well, Seeger, for what it's worth, is three for 20 lifetime on his birthday, but he does have a home run. We'll see if he gets one here today. Pops this one up. Playable, perhaps, for Encarnacion Strand. A long way in down the line, he does make the catch. Two quick outs for the flamethrower Hunter Green. Swing roller to the left side, charging his Espinal gloves and throws on the run in plenty of time to get Nathaniel Lowe. Side retired, and the Rangers are down one, two, three in the first. One complete here in Arlington. Reds and Rangers, nothing, nothing. It's Michael Lorenzen here in the second inning of a scoreless game. Here's Encarnacion Strand getting hit by a pitch. The Reds have their first base runner against Michael Lorenzen. It's over the plate but low, ball four. He uh, lost him with a sinking fastball. So a hit batter and a walk, and the Reds are in business here. Runners at first and second for Tyler Stevenson, the catcher. Liner to right and a base hit for Tyler Stevenson. Encarnacion Strand will be held at third as Jankowski fires it in. Lorenzen is in some trouble here in the top of the second. India stands in with the bags packed and nobody out. India bloops one and it's over the head of Simeon, a base hit. Encarnacion Strand scores. Fraley's held at third and the Reds go station to station. Four straight base runners and now a one nothing lead. Well, if there's one guy the Reds need to get going, it's Jonathan India. So the bases remain loaded here for Nick Martini. There's a fly ball to left center field for Nick Martini, moving over for it to make the catch is Tavares. It scores another run as Jake Fraley comes home. And the Reds taking advantage of a hit batsman and a walk to start the inning. They're up 2 nothing. Ground ball to second base. Simeon flips to Seeger for one over to first two. It's a double play to end the inning. Two balls, two strikes on Smith. Nobody on, one man out. Green back to the plate. There's strike three called. What a slider from Green. 3-2 pitch, swing and a miss. Got him with a fastball down and away. Green strikes out the last two in a 1-2-3 second inning. Happy to have Max join us on the broadcast. First and foremost, how are you feeling? I uh, appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, I feel great. Um, you know, I'm out there uh, getting into rehab games and, uh, you know, looking to get my pitch count up and get back up here. One ball, two strike count. Boy, Green gets ready, and here he comes. See you later. India had an RBI single, a looping drive to right, just over the leap of Simeon in the second to drive in the first run. Lines this one over Seeger, and that's a base hit. Encarnacion Strand hits toward the plate. Throw coming from Evan Carter. It's a good one, but not in time. Throw to second base, and India is safe. And RBI is second today, and the Reds have a 3 0 lead. Low bounced out his first time. He's got Simeon on first here in the fourth. Texas still looking for their first hit against Hunter Green. They finally have their first base runner. And there's strike three, a bullet on the inside corner from Hunter Green. Fourth strikeout. He swings and sends a fly ball to right, but right at Jake Fraley. He'll take a few steps toward the line and set up to make the catch. Side retired. It's another scoreless inning in the books for Hunter Green. Now look who's here, the 43rd president of the United States, and of course a former owner of the Texas Rangers, George W. Bush in the house. 2-2. Line drive over first and fair down the right field line. It'll hug the wall and then shoot out into right field. But Smith will coast into second base with a leadoff double. A unique choice for uh, breaking up this uh, no-hit bid given uh, the steady nature of his offensive production this year. Bouncing ball should score a run if Jankowski can beat it, but De La Cruz with the arm, and he can't. 
beat the play as De La Cruz throws him out. What a play by Ellie De La Cruz. Jankowski with wonderful speed, and De La Cruz might be the only person that could have thrown him out. This place has the roof closed today. Swing and a miss by Leody Tavares. Hunter Green has his fifth strikeout. Lifted in the air, left field hit pretty well, but Steer has a beat on it. He's back just shy of the track. He'll make the catch, and the side is retired. So the Rangers are out in order against Hunter Green in the sixth. Michael Lorenzen, the former Wren, on the mound for the Rangers. Now a hit batsman as Tyler Stevenson is hit by a pitch. So Lorenzen hits a batter for the second time today. Second time Stevenson has been aboard, and he will be a leadoff base runner for Jonathan India, who is two for two. And India drives it toward right field. It's pretty deep. Jankowski is back out near the wall, and it's gone. Jonathan India has a four RBI game. He drives one out to the opposite field and the Reds take a five nothing lead in Texas. He's got three hits today five hits in the series four RBIs today. He gets the Viking helmet and the cape first home run of the year for India and it will knock Lorenzian out of this game. So now that'll bring Will Benson to the plate. Benson did single his last time up. There's a drive out toward right off the bat of Will Benson. It is long gone as Benson cracks one to give the Reds a 7 nothing lead. We've said it all day the uber talented Benson he is always a moment away from a big swing. Well it has been some kind of afternoon thus far for the right hander Hunter Green. A strike three call to Nathaniel Lowe and his good outing continues for Green. He has struck out six. It's this one in the air toward left center field. How about the performance of Hunter Green today? Seven innings of one hit shutout ball against the world champs. And here's the man of the hour for the offensive for the Reds, right? India goes the other way as a four hit game. The ball mishandled by Jankowski, so mainly ends up going to third as Jonathan India is four for four. Martini lifts one out toward left field. Should be deep enough to score Maley from third. As Evan Carter makes the catch. Second time Martini's had a sack fly today, and it's eight to nothing. Brent Suter trying to finish for the Reds, what has been a shutout to this point. Suter's had a long streak of scoreless innings, 14 and a third. Longest active streak among big league relievers. Leody Tavares leads off the bottom of the ninth inning, squibs one to the right side. India ranging over, can't make the play. That's the second hit for the Rangers. Now it's Davis Wenzel who came on for Simeon. Simeon who plays every single game, pretty much every inning. There's a fly ball out toward deep left field. Back for it is Benson near the wall. It's gone. Davis Wenzel has his first major league home run. And the scoreless streak for Suter is over. A big moment for Wenzel. Seeger is 0 for 3. Nobody out in the inning. And now Corey Seager lines one out toward right field. The birthday boy on his 30th birthday slugs his second birthday homer in his career. And the Rangers are back to back. Jacks get on the board here at the bottom of the nine. You got to hit a homer on your birthday. Didn't we talk about that earlier? Nathaniel Lowe flips one the other way and has a base hit. So the Rangers making some noise here in the bottom of the ninth inning. There's a line drive. That's a fair ball. It bounces off the sidewall. Will score a run. Nathaniel Lowe comes in. Smith has an RBI double. And suddenly the Rangers have cut this Reds lead in half. It was 8-0, now 8-4. And Langford lines with the center field. That's a base hit. Over to third goes Smith. The tying run is in the on-deck circle now for Texas as Brent Sooner is having all kinds of issues here in the bottom of the nine. And now the Rangers are one base runner away from bringing the tying run to the plate. And it won't get any easier against the Reds' closer, Alexis Diaz. And on the hands of Kisner, a pop-up back to the mound as Diaz makes the catch. The batter due up, Ezekiel Duran. Brent Suter has hit a deep round on short. That's Ellie De La Cruz, a quick throw, and it's in time. The Reds hang on. Got a little hairy in the bottom of the ninth inning. Texas put up four, but Alexis Diaz quickly douses the Flames. He earns his sixth save, and the Reds beat the Rangers today 8-4 to four in a game that Cincinnati mostly controlled.